Oh yeah, after after uh, about 85 uh, stacks, you can clearly see that a lot of the graphics around are just being really broken. So most up, I'm gonna pick it up and hope that I can equip it sooner than the other one. This Okay. All right. Well, both of them are doing are doing nine pokers. Not too great. Oh crap! All the options. Joy enjoys quality options now, means I have to. The video's been split into halves. This is also a pretty scary boss because even though it does even though you can stun him, the two turrets walking around can actually wreck you just by themselves. From uh, from some nobody named Alec forty seven. Nobody special. Nothing, but not related to anybody we know in this chat currently, or that's even possibly restreaming right now and can run the entire marathon. Yep, nobody likes that. But thanks anyway. So we're did come. Oh, sorry. Go, go for it. No, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say that we're coming up. Well, not right now, but in a moment, coming up to the uh, the the, re the the first skip of the game. And that's about it. It's not right now. It's like the not this boss, but the next one right after. Is 
In theory, it would be possible to skip this boss fight, but it's so much better if you just kill him instead, because, well, you do so much damage that, well, normally I would do more damage than that, since I screwed up a little bit in Act 2. He's not gonna die as quick as it should be. Probably still faster. Average fight, I should say. Oh, by the way, in um, admin chat or on Discord, Alec couldn't put this in because he couldn't figure out how to add a comment, but he basically says, why not name one of the Mystic Quest characters Floor 2? You have gained a level. So let's do that. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, process of adding a donation comment is a little difficult with PayPal. You have to click the little uh, extra tab to give you the option when you're on the donation page. Alright, here's the first skip of the game, Bloodfang, also a nice uh, NPC there, useless one as always, but yeah, Bloodfang, for the first real skip of the game, which is basically gonna get him to push me through a gate, if he wants to actually run up here. Right, I need one more knockback, and there we go. Pretty good, pretty good fight. So basically, his knockback is so big that he just pushes you through the gate. Also, well nice, nice equipment, and no, not good. It was a pretty good escape. Uh, though the artist kit is still to come up. Alright, not using that Minus Armor stuff is really hurting me right now. <laughs> really, really hurting. This is the kind of game that just really wrecks your wrist. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it, it does hurt after a while, but you get used to it. Also, really good spawn for that quest here. It was pretty close to the entrance. And ah, the dungeon itself, the other dungeon is rather far away, so not very great on that.
right? And getting ripped by those spectral dragons. It is to be expected that I die really often with no armor on it. So anything can happen at this point. Also, there's really no penalty for dying except losing gold. Because you can respawn wherever you die as many times as you want. It's not like you lose like a lot of time when you die either, it seems. No, you lose like max 10 seconds. Not even like 6 or 7 seconds. So, yeah, it really isn't that big of a deal. Also, that was a pretty good floor one here. This dungeon can be either quick or really, really long. Most, some, sometimes the spawn, they're, they're gonna spawn the uh, staircase or the boss room really, really far away from the entrance. Or in this case, like, I guess the average spawn. Um, also, I might actually die again on this bus. Um, just because of how weak I am. He's, he's not doing enough damage to actually kill me, but if he casts that uh, spit attack, is the one that can actually kill me. Nothing else, though. Okay. You can see right here the uh, minus armor in effect. Whenever his HP starts to melt like this, it means that his armor is somewhere around minus 400, minus uh, 1,400. Well, not minus 1,400, but you know something around. One thousand minus one thousand. Also, I think my level was too low for it. For me to be able to equip this gem here, so I can't, uh, wait. Alright, so I just checked the gem and, uh, I did not get the mana regent gem, because reasons. It probably just is random, I guess. I've never actually looked into it too much. Like, 95% of the time you're gonna get a mana region gem. But in this case, uh, I didn't get anything, so... Yeah. Camping on that armor with the mana region now. Since I'm not gonna get the other one. I probably picked the wrong one. Without really noticing, but... Alright, here's the artist's artist or most random skip in the game. War Titan. So basically you either clip really fast through the gate or you die. So in this case I died. This this skip can really take a long time to get depending on well him I guess if he just keeps attacking you like this. But it was pretty nice this time. Fairly nice. What have we here? So I'm gonna just come here and uh, get myself uh, a weapon, you know. 
Just because reason. That's the ticket. Just you have a new quest. Okay, so now we we are entering the last area in the game. Game of Forge. Or Minehead in this case. <clears throat> and there's another really neat skip that I'm going to perform right after the Alchemist. Again, this dungeon this uh floor can be can give you an, a nice one or a terrible one. But I'm not getting a good one. Oh yeah, um, I will, right before the boss I will go back to town and buy more potions because I'm running out. Also, if anybody's wondering why I'm not using the bone staff, uh, well, it's just me screwing up in the beginning, and instead of leveling focus, I put dexterity by mistake, and well, I can't equip the bone staff anymore, so rip that. And at this point, it would be useless to level up, so. Next level, I will be able to actually use the bone staff, but it's going to be so late that it's not going to be of any use at all. Or unless the alchemist actually gives me a level, which would be pretty surprising. We just received a $20 donation from High Spirits. Says, good job on the marathon, Ozzy. Give this to No Honk. Down with the turtles. Hello. Alright, well, now we are. Oh, um, yeah, let's go with a little bit more money. I went back to my head to get a little bit more money so I can. Get more mana potion for the end game or the final two boss fight. Right, I'm not gonna need more money than that. <laughs> Went over the board with it, I think. Alright, so next step is putting a portal right before the alchemist. Uh, it's set up for the next skip, which is just me skipping one floor after killing him. Some for some reason, the uh, the game uh, does. I, I guess it just confuses confuse the game somehow uh, whenever you use the. Uh, Waypoint portal after killing the alchemist. I don't know why. Also, another skip found by well, a skip found by the guy with the beard. Uh, this enemy can push you through the the, uh, the gas, I guess, and skip waiting 10 seconds for that other one to disappear. Alright, now on with the alchemist. Alright, this weapon is pretty good, not gonna lie. 
No, my DPS is over 4,000. Alright, so first phase of the Alchemist is done. If we're lucky, um, he's gonna be stalled every time he's spawned now. So, we don't have to wait. Alright, so that should be pretty quick fight. Alright, well that was the alchemist. <laughs> Alright, so now that we killed him, we go to the waypoint portal and teleport back to the other portal that we put down and not die, I guess. Uh, hello? Just need to get them out of there. Why are you guys on the portal right now? Oh, my pet's fighting them. Come on. And you just teleport back to the broken mine. And now the game puts you where the staircase to go down is for some reason. It, I don't even know why it does that, but that's the only place it does it. Alright, one more floor and then we are at the nether horn. And at this point, it would I would feel better if I was actually one more if I actually have one more level, just so I can equip the minus 59 armor weapon, just for the final boss. You just received a $10 donation from Meta Sigma, saying, I can't wait to see the adventures of some dude with Flex Master Bird. As they say, Princess Candy Corn Hives, and oh, the land as well. But who cares about that part of the story? All right, uh, here's the Nether Lord, the final boss. Um, he's not a really big threat, to be honest. All you do is uh, make sure you don't stand in that fire, and just stay here and attack him, and stun luck until he dies. That's his second phase. And he's dead. Alright, uh, that's time by the way. Alright, it's alright. The Clockwork Core has protected the world from the Netherum for longer than even the Guardians can remember. As the Core wound down, the Netherum slipped through. Alright, looks like one hour, 16 minutes. That was really bad <laughs> by my standards, but I guess screwing up in the beginning was my fault. But it's still subestimate, so it's all good.